we present a new spatial correlation scatter plot called the S-core plot. The S-core plot spatially encodes correlation by projecting variables onto a 2D scatter plot using a geometric interpretation of correlation. A user-selected variable of interest is placed on the right-hand side of the S-core plot. The correlation of all other variables to this one are indicated by vertical grid lines. Variables on the right-hand side are highly correlated to this variable of interest, while those on the left are anti-correlated. The user can interactively define new projections of the data by either selecting new variables of interest in the plot, or by selecting other data-driven projections, like principal components. Animated transitions show the reorientation of the projection plane and enable a richer understanding of multidimensional structures in the data. This example dataset shows how ridership on the New York City subway has changed over the years and across the different subway stops. In this view, each point represents a year in the dataset, and they form a curve as we move from year to year. When we select new years, this particular curve moves in what appears to be 3D, thus giving the user some notion of the potential multidimensional structures of the underlying correlation between variables. It is also quite clear in this dataset that we have two distinct clusters, one for the early developing years of the subway system, and also of the more recent developed years. Since the ridership data can be transposed, we can also correlate the different subway stops across the years. Now, each point in the plot represents a subway stop. In this case, we have additional categorical labels for each subway stop, representing a borough or region, like Manhattan or the Bronx. These are represented with different colors. Through animated projections, it is possible to find outliers among the subway stops, or stations which have different ridership than most other stations. In under a minute, it is possible to find the two strongest outliers in this dataset, the Aqueduct Racetrack, and also the Willits Point Shea Stadium stop. By analyzing these stops in the linked parallel coordinates view, it is possible to identify the key years that explain why these outliers exist. In fact, one of these stops is the least used subway stop in the entire subway system. For further information about the S-Core plot, as well as other data examples, please see our companion paper.